Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you have missed my previous videos, you can find links in the description box. In this video, you will learn What do we need in calibration kit in order to do manual calibration of MSA Altair 4XR portable gas detector? And how to do manual calibration of MSA Altair 4XR? First of all, what do we need in calibration kit in order to do manual calibration of MSA Altair 4XR portable gas detector? First, we need calibration cap and small Tigon tube. Secondly, we need calibration gas bottle. Lastly, we also need gas regulator. Now, how to do manual calibration of MSA Altair 4XR. First of all, we will learn to do zero calibration. In normal operation mode, press and hold up button for 3 seconds to enter in zero calibration mode. As you can see from the picture that, if calibration lockout option is not selected, zero screen will display. At this point, put the device in fresh air and press middle or power button to start zero calibration. As you can see from the picture that, a sensor will refresh, and zero calibration will occur. If zero calibration pass successfully, device momentarily display zero pass message. And, if zero calibration failed, device will show error with the flag of any sensor that failed. For example, if zero calibration test did not pass for CO sensor, it will show CO with error. As you can see from the picture that, if zero is set, the span cal screen display. Now, attach the calibration cap to device. And attach regulator with calibration gas bottle, and apply the gas to device. Here, make sure that, you apply correct concentration span gas to device. For example, if device span is set for 58% of LEL, 15% volume of oxygen, 60 ppm of carbon monoxide, 20 ppm of hydrogen sulfide, then apply same concentration gas to device. Now, press the middle or power button to start span calibration. As you can see from the picture that, measured value will display on screen. If span calibration pass successfully, device momentarily displays span pass message. As you can see from the picture that, if span calibration failed, device momentarily displays span error message along with the label of any sensor that failed. Now, if span calibration is passed, close the valve on the regulator, and remove the calibration cap from device. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please do ask me in comment box. And if you don't want to miss any informative video like this, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification.